Hello, welcome to Car Coach Reports. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is 4 Minute Friday. And today is March 9th, 2018. I am here in beautiful Seattle, Washington. And what else is it doing? It's raining. So we're gonna cover three things that you really wanna know why someone else drives me. Okay, number one, we're gonna talk about tariffs and why they're really important and how they really aren't affecting the price of cars as much as you may think or as much as you're reading about. Number two, we're gonna be talking about Volkswagen and diesels. And no, we're not talking Dieselgate. Something very interesting they're discussing. And number three, the Geneva Auto Show is this week. And there were some massive fails and we'll show you those too. Stay right with us. All right, let's start the clock. Number one, President Trump is talking about tariffs on steel and aluminum. That's 25% on steel and 10% on aluminum. Now, why is that important to you? I know the press is going crazy all about this. I'm just gonna forget the politics, cut right to the chase. Here's what you need to know. It's only gonna raise the price of a car about $35. Also, you should know that there's gonna be a carve out. In other words, they're not gonna be impacted for Canada and Mexico. I find that very interesting. So they're basically what we're trying to do is cut all that Chinese lower grade quality metals out of the market and give people jobs. Is that gonna impact anyone? Yeah, maybe someone like Boeing, but for the most part, the auto industry, and I've talked to many executives that said, it's really not that much of an impact. Most of them are sourcing steel here in the US, and of course that means more jobs. So if you're thinking about jobs, that's great for the economy. It's actually gonna be good, and no, there's not gonna be a trade war. I'm sure you've got some comments about that. Just put them down below and we'll discuss them. All right, number two, we're talking about Volkswagen. You know, we all know Volkswagen's got a lot of great new cars and they've got diesel vehicles. Well, diesel's no longer out. A few years ago, they cheated, they lied. They bold-faced lied saying that their vehicles were meeting emission standards and they weren't. And they had to buy a lot of them back. The two liter diesels, I happen to have three, three liter diesels, and I'm not getting rid of those vehicles and I really love them. So if you start looking at the real numbers, let me give them to you. Here's some real numbers of what's going on with diesel and why Volkswagen says it's not dead. Number one, the U.S. personal diesel market has grown 168%. Why? Trucks. It's in trucks, it's in SUVs, and even Hyundai says, we're coming out with diesel. Mazda, we're coming out with diesel. General Motors, we're coming out with diesel. Uh, they're talking about a growth of 86% in 2019 and 25% more in 2020. That may surprise you. So diesel is not dead. I'm a big Dr. Diesel fan, anyhow. Number three, here are three of the worst cars from the Geneva Auto Show, which really wasn't exciting as it has been in the past. There was a couple of really good launches and I'm gonna give you one plus as well. Number one, the Sin S1. Somewhere between that go-kart your uncle built in, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, this is probably one of the ugliest cars I've seen. Number two, anything from a company called Mansori. They took a Bentley and they destroyed it. They also destroyed a Porsche. They make them pretty hideous. You tell me what you think, because I really want your feedback on these. They almost made me laugh when I saw them in person. And number three, the Matt Stratos. It's not a Lancia, I think it's a wannabe. It's just plain sad, makes you wanna cry. And one good thing that came out of the Geneva Auto Show was we have the Toyota Supra back, yay! Why? Because it's a great vehicle, it's a sports car, and they're making a race car out of it. So I am quite excited about that. If you like this video, we appreciate your support. Make sure to subscribe and, of course, share it with your friends. Check out our Patreon page, and we will see you next Friday. Check out all the cool stuff we're doing, including for the Weather Channel. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.